Hello everyone. Once two men approached each other in a hotel lobby. Good morning, Paul. How are you? I'm fine, Alex, but my name is not Paul. Oh, mine is not Alex either. No worries, said Paul. We are probably not ourselves today. Friends, more than 2000 years ago, On the first day of the week following Jesus crucifixion and death some women of Jerusalem namely Mary Magdalene Mary the mother of James and Salome were certainly not themselves they were heartbroken and grieving over the death of their beloved master teacher and friend Jesus they had seen him strip not only of his clothes but also of every possible shred of human dignity killed in the most horrible way possible and laid in a tomb they had followed joseph of arimathea who had secured permission from pilate to bury the body of jesus and watched him anoint jesus body with spices and perfumed oils and wrap it in linen clothes and bury it however they were probably not satisfied with the burial john tells us that jesus body was placed in the tomb in haste and only temporarily because it was friday the day of preparation the day when the jews prepared for the sabbath friends after the burial the women anxiously and fearfully waited for the sabbath to pass and then on the early morning of the first day of the week they decided to go to the tomb and anoint the body of jesus with the spices once again and perhaps in small way return to him the dignity which he had been so cruelly taken away but that morning their great concern was the stone that sealed the tomb obviously the stone was too heavy to be rolled aside by three women it was very large friends while mark writes that the women were walking to the tomb and discussing about the stone at the tomb entrance luke simply presents that they found it moved when they arrived friends whatever the case and despite their misgivings the women went to the tomb out of deep affection for their lord they found the large stone rolled aside and were greeted by a young man clothed in a white robe an angel as described by matthew in his gospel who told them that jesus had risen friends their worries as it turned out were needless The stone had not been rolled away by someone with a man's strength but by God's and not so that the Lord could emerge but to allow the women to go in see the empty tomb and be convinced of the resurrection of Jesus Friends the women could have chosen not to begin their journey to the tomb for they knew that there was an obstacle in the way a large stone between them and their task and yet they decided to go and try rather than staying indoors like the others who were hiding behind closed doors in fear of the jewish leaders friends just as the stone sealing this tomb was an obstacle to those women to minister to the body of jesus so too may there be stones and rocks in our lives which prevent us from reaching out in faith to jesus christ to receive his gift of salvation or eternal life keep us from following the will of god in our lives and work against our attainment of the fullness of joy in life friends these stones and rocks may come in different shapes and sizes whether they are big or small they block our way and trap us in anxiety doubt worry disappointment grief sadness and fear and ultimately lead to a loss of faith in ourselves in others and a further loss of faith and belief in god friends what are the stones in your life right now are there times when you look at these stones standing in your way and feel powerless and afraid do you feel you are not strong enough to move any of these stones and wonder who will move them for you friends if there are any stones or obstacles in your way today be it family or relationship problems or financial stress job loss or hostile co-workers 
a deadly sin such as resentment, anger, hatred, envy, lust, pride, greed or addiction to drugs, alcohol or gambling. Please know that just as God rolled away the stone so as to allow the women's entrance into the tomb and to make them believe in the resurrection, God is there to remove all of them out of the way and fill your life with faith, truth, hope, peace and joy. Friends, there is no stone which God cannot remove from your life. No stone is too large or heavy for Him to remove from your path. There is no doubt that God Himself could roll all the stones away or send down legions of angels to clear away every single stone. If you only have faith, if you only believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who has, through His death on the cross, removed two great barriers, sin and fear of death, which stood in the way of God's blessing on us. Friends, we are Christians who believe in God's power. Therefore, let our trust and confidence not rest in our own understanding, in our own might, in our own abilities, in our own strength, nor in our own wisdom, but in the power of God, so that He will make our path straight. Amen. I wish you and your family a blessed and joyful Easter. God bless you.